when you wake up 30 minutes before your alarm because you're so excited to go and hit legs today because you haven't done this since before Christmas, this particular exercise. Am I the only one out there that's crazy like this or who can relate? Mug check not complete yet. We just got our La Roche Pose on there, sitting and sinking in the skin. But I had some questions on the first Fit Mom vlog I posted of the new year, and I was like, y'all, y'all something else. So y'all had questions about the most basic things, but I love it. First off, look at these little wristbands. My sister got us these for Christmas, and I know we're late to the party, ladies, but these are the wristbands you put on so when you're washing your face, the water doesn't like trickle down your arms. They freaking work. If I can find them on Amazon for cheap, I'll link them down below because Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. And like, we can wear these to the gym and be like 80s cute. I'm just here for it. So I had someone ask what toothpaste I use. <laughs> uh, basic B, y'all. Colgate Max Fresh, but it's gotta be this green one, the blue one. I wish they uh, had the green one at Sam's in the big pack. They only have the blue one. Blue one is no bueno. I like the green one. And yes, I pay the dollar for it. And then uh, dry shampoo, y'all. I asked about dry shampoo. I was using the Amica Perk Up and I love it. But why am I this way? Why am I this way? I love something and then when I go to reorder when I'm out, I'm like, oh, let me try something new. Why do I do that? Just get the same shit you always use, girl, because you know it works. Why are you trying something different to potentially be let down? Why? Why am I like that? But I always keep a backup of Batiste because y'all, let me tell you something. Remember in the last video, I told you guys that I was out of my Vanna Cream face wash. So I ordered some on Amazon. That was like a million years ago. It is still not here. Like what the actual hell? And I'm out of dry shampoo too and it's still not here. Amazon, why are we paying the Amazon Prime when it comes like a month later? I'm just saying. So I've been using the Batiste right now to get me through, but I ordered a new one. So I'll update you guys, but I do like the Amica Perk Up for a face wash. Remember I told you guys about, oh, I have a travel size. It'll be fine until my Vanna Cream gets here. No ladies, no. I've got this Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser as a little travel size. This is poo and this is trash. If you use this and you love it, great. I'm happy for you and I'm not trying to offend you, but I feel like I'm just not even washing my face with this right now. If my Vanna Cream does not get here, y'all are like, girl, just go to the Walgreens. I know, I know, but Amazon, I'm paying the Amazon Prime money. <sighs> But why am I? Because it takes a month later and I'm, I'm, sh I'm over here with the first world problem struggling. Now our mug check is complete, pretty much the same. Uh, I just put our eyes on. Does anybody have an eye that always gives you shits? Like you put your mascara on on one eye and it always comes out beautifully, like without any effort. And the other eye, it looks like total trash. Why, why? This eye, this one, yeah, this one right here, has been giving me fits so bad here lately. I don't know what's going on. This one, no problem. But this one right here, it's like total poo, I feel, like trying to get my mascara on. The struggles are real. Who else is still using their 40-year-old Vaseline out there, girl? I'm here for it. One of you guys told me they have this in a stick version. Run, run to the Wally World. Why does leg day have a thousand components of clothing? Since I have so many layers, I'll show you layer by layer. Because if not, we'll be here a while. We've got, I don't know if you guys can tell, these are the Buff Bunny um, shorts. I was trying to think of the bossy print, the white bossy print, there we go. And then one of my favorite sports bras by Buff Bunny is the Revolution. This one is old as the hills though. Like Danielle, if you're watching, we were talking about in one of our Zooms in the reverse about the bras not having the removable pads in Buff Bunny. I was like, girl, they do now. That, this one's so old, they don't, okay? So if you have old <laughs> Buff Bunny, they don't have the option to take the pads out, but the new ones do, just saying. And they have a bunch of new colors, I think, coming out in the Genesis launch. I'm not affiliated, I'm just obsessed. But I really need to invest in some new ones because these are like so, like, I don't know if you can see, so stained and nasty in the armpits and stuff. They're so old, but love it. And the back is beautiful too, but I just love the way it has a square neckline and it fits. Walmart Adam Sandler sweatpants because it's leg day. And then we've got our Powerpuff Girls shirt from Target. Uh, tell me you were a fan of Powerpuff Girls in high school. That was my high school days, Powerpuff Girls, here for it. And then we've got this little cropped hoodie 
from Shein, and that's the fit of the day. We gotta get working on this always ratchet hair, right? It wouldn't be a day in the life without taking this booger out to pee, right? And yes, my Christmas-ish is still up. It's January 2nd when I'm filming this, okay? January 2nd, and I got a lot of work, I'll explain. It's coming down this week. Don't, don't worry, it is. But just so you guys know, for the last time, hopefully the last time, everything's still drunk and, you know, all over the place. Let me get this boy potty and let's get out of here. And it's freezing today. What is my life? Finally able to sit down with you guys and talk and chat. Welcome to another Fit Mom vlog is what we're calling these. We are at the gym. We are staring at the door, which is the heaviest weight at the gym. Did not show you all my pre-stuff because it is still winter break. It is the second, like I mentioned when I'm filming this, and the boys, including the hubby, are all home until the 8th for winter break. And I don't know what it is, but when we are on break, everyone just like lives lives in the living room meaning that everybody crashes and sleeps on the couch and everybody was in there snoozing and I didn't want to wake anybody up so we had our pre-workout rice cake combo and we tried a new pop tart today we tried the frosted raspberry I've never tried that one before it was fire but I'm a raspberry fan so if you it tastes similar to strawberry so if you like the strawberry one it tasted very similar, but just with the raspberry flavor, if that makes sense. But recommend Applejack, still the OG for me. Pre-workout, PE Science, Black Cherry, Prolific, and High Volume. It's just the go-to for me. I've been gravitating towards it the past few gym sessions, and I have like a placebo effect that it makes me go harder than the other flavors. So I'm not jinxing it, especially for a leg day. And then for our water, our TikTok water of the day, we did a recommendation from my girl Teresa so I've been loving the tang you guys know with the nerds cherry is my absolute favorite still is my favorite but she said she was doing the tang with the pineapple packet so I did a crushed pineapple with a tang and it's really good it's very citrusy obviously so if you like that that would be your jam for sure it would also be good with like maybe some of the mermaid skinny syrup from Jordan's that might be good pumped in there I might try a little concoction of more chemicals <laughs> of that at some point yesterday i came to the gym on new year's day yes your girl came on new year's day and worked out and it was funny because i got here at eight o'clock and there was nobody here probably up until about a quarter to nine and then it was completely swamped but i'm not one of those that gets pissed when there's new people in the gym new year new me i welcome it guys i want you guys to go to your gym and not be scared and branch out of your comfort zone and try something new it warms my heart when i see new people in the gym and i was the only female in this gym yesterday i see some females in there today and it's crowded right now at eight o'clock and it will get even more crowded uh, here soon so your girl's got to get in there and claim her crap but as far as new people in the gym i was the only female yesterday and i saw lots of new guys in there and lots of new guys to the gym you could tell because of the exercises they were doing and just feeling a little awkward not knowing how to use the equipment stuff like that i love seeing it i love seeing you guys branch out and finally working towards a a better healthier you and you're not the only one that is walking into the gym the very first time or trying a new exercise for the first time new equipment don't be scared don't hold yourself back and don't think that people are judging you like i said i was nothing but like rooting and cheering people on when i saw them yesterday unlike the stupid crap that you see on social media with everybody getting so pissed off because the gyms are crowded. Now, like we talked about in the last video, I think, make sure that if you are new to the gym, you're following proper gym etiquette and don't become a, 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 a douchebag <laughs> in the gym. I hate to say it like that, but you guys understand what I'm saying. Be courteous, re respectful of everybody in the gym. It's a safe space. It's an awesome community and we should keep it like that and not all this crap that you see portrayed on social media about it being such a negative space, I feel. I cannot believe I woke up before my alarm. I woke up at like 5.50 and I was, I was up. Y'all ever do that when you wake up and you're like, oh, I'm up. I don't need even to lay back down. I'm so excited to get in here. I have back squats on the agenda today, which I need to figure out my little my little program thing over here as far as like weight that I'm lifting. And this is the first time I've been in here doing my new workout split for 
legs. Now it's for the leg day number one. It's not really new. I, the only new thing I have incorporated in today's leg day is I'm going to be doing some leg extensions because I'm doing a little bit more quad work this go round for legs, but everything else is the exact same. I'm doing Bulgarian split squats. I'm doing back extensions. We're doing back squats, nothing new. And I keep it super basic on leg days. I do no more than four exercises usually, and just really try to go as heavy as possible on those four exercises. With legs, guys, you don't need to do like a million different things to actually get an effective and good workout for your legs. Same thing for upper as well. You don't have to go ham on it. Just make sure that you're working working out with intent, working and lifting heavy, and not just swinging weights away and doing a million different workouts, and you're going to see effective results uh, sooner than you think. Let's get our back squat thing a-going. Let's get up in this gym. Not sure how much I'm gonna be able to film because it is new year, new me for everybody, and this is a small gym, so it's already crowded as hell, but let's get to it. Activate beast mode music. number one the first lower body of the new year for me holy crap i feel so strong right now but we're going to talk about a lot of things that came up in the gym while i was in there that i know so many of you guys struggle with as well and i just i'm here to tell you that doesn't matter where you are in your journey I hate to be the bearer of bad news but you are going to experience things that you experienced in the very beginning of your health weight loss journey and you'll experience the same exact shit towards like you progressed in your weight loss health and fitness journey i assure you the feels never go away they always linger do they occur as much not as much, but they still occur nonetheless. Back squats, we were able to crank it out. They felt heavy though today. I haven't done back squats, shoot, in like two weeks and they felt heavy, but glad that this week happened to be a lower weight set. Next week is the week of the shark and that's usually my most beast week if you are new. And we have our heaviest lift 
due next week. So that should pan out beautifully. I don't know how that keeps working out, but I'm here for it. Nonetheless, even though they felt heavy, we were able to crank out 10 of our as many reps as possible at 125. Were they like the cleanest and prettiest towards the end? No, but we got them done and that counts in my book. But I want to talk a few minutes today about your way you perceive yourself, body dysmorphia, all those things, because again, they're going to come about no matter where you are in your journey. And today I was not feeling it as far as how I perceived myself. I'm feeling like I don't know. I felt kind of nauseous the entire time in the gym today. I feel bloated. My stomach is messed up for some reason. I don't know because we ate on point yesterday. I don't, I, I don't know. But you're going to have those days, right, where TMI, you're just like not feeling it stomach-wise, but you cranked it out and you got it done. But as far as like taking pictures and video and stuff, I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I'm like, girl, you look like you're pregnant. You have those perceptions of yourself and then you have other people that look at you and they're like, girl, I would do anything to be like where you are in your position in your journey right now. So just because you see somebody on social media and it may look like they're killing it, it may look like they have the best body in the world, trust me. And if they aren't sharing this and aren't telling you this, they're just lying to you. And that's the the evil thing about social media is that it's very deceiving. And that's why I try to be so transparent and upfront with you guys is that they are having those feelings too. It's important that we talk about these feelings because we all go through them together. And especially people that are just starting out, if they feel like they're alone in this, it might derail them from their journey because they feel like they're a failure. They feel like they're not doing things hashtag right, all that. So I'm just here to tell you that if you walk through the door today at the gym, at your home gym, if you went for a walk, if you are working and bettering yourself, you are a winner automatically. Don't go into anything thinking that you have to be perfect. There is no perfect. I am not perfect. Joe Blow down the street is not perfect. If someone's telling you they're perfect, they are lying to your face. This is not a perfect journey. And that's the beauty of it is that there's going to be ups, there's going to be downs. But if you keep showing up and you keep being consistent, that's where the magic happens over time. Not a quick fix, not a magic pill. Over time, you continuing to work on yourself and work on your health is going to equate to big changes. Just be patient with yourself and give yourself grace. If you're doing all the things and you know you're checking off all those boxes like you should be, you are winning at life. The gym had all the original OGs in there today. All the new faces I saw yesterday weren't there. I'm sad about that. I'm hoping things will change. Maybe they're just sore as hell being their first day and they took a day off, a rest day, and then they're back at it when I come back Thursday. So we shall see. But it's good environment in the gym. Happy to see the OGs as well back at it because not everybody was here yesterday. I am on my way. I'm on my way. What is that song? I'm going to Family Dollar. Family Dollar. I haven't brought you guys in Family Dollar. Now my Family Dollar compared to Dollar General, she a little, she a little downgrade. Okay. She a little downgrade from the Dollar General by me, but I need to go in there and get some, talking about my stomach hurting. Listen to me. I'm going in there to get Butterfingers. Like what is my life? I am trying out a new Ninja Creamy tonight. I'm going to be making a Butterfinger Blast Ninja Creamy. My favorite one of my favorite desserts is a Butterfinger Blast from Sonic. Like, hands down, freaking OG, the best. And I have the Butterfinger Blast, like, protein shake here on my YouTube channel. I'm pretty sure it should be posted as a short, but I'm going to create one as a Ninja Creamy, like the same thing, but in like real ice cream form. So excited about that. But I have no Butterfinger, so I got to go to Family Dollar to get Butterfingers and all the bad chemicals and stuff, y'all. Y'all know how I roll and get some Nerds uh, Cherry. Talking about the cherry earlier, the Nerds packet are where it's at. I'm telling you guys, Starburst, no, it's got to be the Nerds, and they sell the single cherry boxes at Family Dollar. It's Instead of buying those ones with the grape and the strawberry, but no, get the single boxes at Family Dollar. And I think they're a dollar or a dollar 25. Doesn't matter. Got to buy them. I need to re-up on that and get to the house and get our first real meal in of the day. If we can get this stomach right. Good Lord. There she blows. Family Dollar. I mean, she looks, she looks pretty good from the outside, but I'm just saying compared to, to Dollar General, she a little crusty. Let's go. Who else jams out to some no doubt still to this day? I mean, Gwen Stefani, she the poo. Now we gotta look at the Valentine stuff. So they got some cute cards for just a dollar. Look, they're beating Dollar Tree too. Look at this one, you make my heart 
sore. How cute is that? If I can get it open. Have a terrific Valentine's Day. I mean, shut up. You're perfect together. Milk and cookies. Happy Valentine's Day. You make a great pair. Aren't these cute? I am just obsessed with these. These are so cute. Got some cute sleep pants for a dollar. Those are super cute. They got men's boxers and men's pajama pants, $7 and $5. Well, the real reason I came in here acquired. And if you're wondering, they have the Easter-ish out. Peeps, I mean Reese eggs, they are the goat. Am I wrong? I know I'm not. Look at these Starbucks dupes tumblers, $3. They have them in pink and in white back there too. Those are cute. And they also have these travel mugs. Remember I used to be obsessed with those back in the day. Not my vibe anymore, but I do like these. See, if you just want the singles, I love this. You can get the grape, the cherry, or the strawberry. At Walmart, they want to sell you the, the big pack for like a million dollar and you never drink the other flavors. Ugh, obsessed. Okay, this cherry one, I'm telling you guys, it, it is is the best i will not steer you wrong they also have like all these uh, now look dollar general has these for a dollar so you save 25 cents same thing with dollar tree so don't buy these like particular ones here or at dollar tree go to dollar general but like the ones that they don't sell come here and get quick family dollar haul all right y'all know i was not leaving that store without these freaking dollar cards especially this dinosaur one in my opinion was the freaking cutest one you make my heart sore have a terrific valentine's day like oh my gosh obsessed i wanted to get both the boys the same card but i was like waylon would say something so i don't i think i'm gonna give that one to waylon that one's super cute y'all know valentine's day usually isn't our jam but i do buy the boys like a card and get them a little candy or something but we don't do a big to do like some people do and then i got the dog one that says i wolf you how cute is that and inside just happy valentine's day but these are nice for a dollar like i don't think you can get these for a dollar at all do you know how they have cards like this so get to family dollar save that coin these are like high quality and i got this one for the hubs i love you to the moon like how cute and it's got the little raised heart I'm so glad you're mine. Happy Valentine's Day. Obsessed with the cards. I made a boo-boo with the water packets. I wanted to get two of the Nerds Cherry, but apparently this was in the same box and I got the Hawaiian Punch. I'm not mad about it though. I like this one with the pineapple. It is so, so good. And I don't think I have very many left. So not a bad mistake. And I'm not going to go back in and change it because I love that one. And then I got the Butterfinger Minis acquired. $7. Let's get to the hizzy. Been a little bit since we did our workout. So we're getting our first meal of the day. Well, seven second meal you know what I mean we've got one of the Thomas cranberry bagels y'all know I went ham on these and bought I don't have very many left in the freezer and I've got two left out so we've got one in the air fryer I like to put it on the broil setting for about five six minutes it toasts it up perfection while the bagels going I got 125 grams of liquid egg whites one whole egg y'all ask all the time how to get my protein up egg whites zero calorie protein hacks I know I know I get tired of them myself but if you mix one egg in there it helps a lot as far as the texture and the flavor so that's what we're doing today and we've got some salt and pepper that's it so I'm gonna like scramble these up kinda and we're gonna serve them with some cottage cheese and yes me trying to cook my eggs and this heifer yeah you yeah you sprawled out like sprawled eagle taking up all my space every time I don't know why he does this. He does it on purpose. Get my protein coffee ready. I have a video for that. If you're new, I always have that linked in the description box. And hallelujah, praise the Lord. We got the white chocolate peppermint bark back. Again, check their website and see if they still have this in stock. If they do, it won't be long. Buy it for next year. I know some of you guys said you like drinking your peppermint mocha all year long. You're like the uh, pumpkin girlies, okay? I get it. Get it because I don't know if they're going to bring it back just like they did this year or they brought it back late. That way you have it for the actual season and my code in Burgess gets you 15% off. So check it. I'm not sure when you're watching this if it's in stock, but I know you guys were so happy to see it back. I have a medley of raspberries, blueberries. There's our egg combo. 77 grams of cottage cheese with everything but the bagel seasoning. We've got our cranberry bagel with a serving of the Philadelphia honey butter. This stuff is so fire. If you find it, snag it, guys, because it was out of stock for a while. It's back in stock at my Walmart, so they're wishy-washy with the different flavors they keep bringing back, but this one is, hands down, probably my number one. For the macros, popping up with our protein coffee back here. We're gonna get in this meal, and then we got a ton of momming and working to do. Before we get to work, I've got to get 
dinner in the crock pot or it ain't gonna be ready for dinner time. This is my crack chicken, slow cooker track crack chicken. Say that five times fast, okay? I have this on my YouTube channel as a recipe short, but I'm gonna show you right now, why not? So I got 24 ounces of chicken. I'm gonna put that in my sprayed crock pot. I'm gonna add eight ounces of the third less fat cream cheese. I like the Greek one from Walmart, but it's been out of stock again for a while. One of those things where it's gone forever, and when it comes back, you need to stockpile it. Cream cheese is in. We just went ahead and shredded up our four ounces of cheddar. We're gonna sprinkle that on top. To make crack anything, you gotta have ranch in there. We're gonna do a packet of ranch, but since I use these big things, a packet of ranch is about 28.8 grams if you wanna get specific. So I'm gonna weigh that up over here and then sprinkle that on top. Ranch is in there and also did one teaspoon of granulated garlic powder. And then we just poured a fourth of a cup of chicken broth. We're gonna cover it and cook it on low for three and a half to four hours on high since we are in a time crunch for dinner. And then we're gonna add some bacon before we eat our yummy Taco Tuesday night. We are made, you can make this with burritos, tacos, sammies, pizzas. I mean, whatever you wanna do, this is so versatile and you can make it in the crock pot at the beginning of the week and eat like a million different dinners. This is something suggested if you are new to tracking instead of overwhelming yourself with a million different recipes, make like a one pot wonder like this and just turn it into different things the rest of the week to save on time. You know that you're hitting macros it will help you out a lot. Before we can get work done, we got the mom. The mom and wife in life. That seems to take precedent over work first, at least in my brain, it has to come first or my work can't get done because my brain's like fogged with, oh, you gotta get all this other ish done. Are y'all the same out there, ladies? Okay, so anybody else do this too? This is laundry that was done yesterday, but it's, I did put a bunch of laundry away yesterday. I mean, why do we have so much laundry when the boys only wear underwear and they're home for two weeks? I don't understand what's going on. Like, why is this laundry multiplying all of a sudden? However, I digress. I folded this last after I put a bunch of crap away, and do y'all just leave it like sitting on your dryer and your washing machine, and you're like, I'll put it away tomorrow when you should have put it away right away because now you're like, damn, now I gotta put this away before I can even blah, 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 blah. That's me, that's me, it me girl. So I'm gonna put this away and then I gotta get a laundry a going. I don't have a, I say I don't have a ton, I just said it's multiplying, but I have, my stuff gets put to the back burner. I don't go through a lot of clothes, workout clothes, and I have to like line dry it, you know what I mean? Cause you can't be <sighs> drying that stuff. First world problems and the dishes are like, I don't know what's going on with the dishes. It's a situation. I've been flipping pages since I could remember. That told me I had to be within the lines of two degrees and nine to five And I've been working after work since last September Working after work, yeah. I stay up late on the weekdays on the week I days. never tell when we say oh. I never wanna look back And wish I could've been I never got no regret The hours I've been putting in So take a chance on faith your mind's a boneless place So take a chance, take a chance A chance on faith So take a chance Take a chance on faith So take a chance I never want to look back Take a chance Take a chance on faith Take a chance on faith the the duties done for right now anyway 
Yes, it is dark. I like to sit in here in the dark and I'm about to put on my Amazon music and play some tunes. When you're working, like if you have a job that allows it, when I was a teacher during my planning period, I would shut the door. We had to have the doors locked anyway. Shut the door and I would blast my tunes. Now granted, we were all on break together in our hallway so it wasn't disrupting other classes before you say anything. And I would grade papers, like put in grades, all the things with my tunes blasting out, I'm just more productive that way. Now editing, I can't have anything on because I'm listening, but as far as like doing plans and stuff for the shred, which by the way, today when you guys are watching this, pretty sure, yeah, the shred starts today. So we're gonna freaking kick ass in this program. I'm so excited for all the ladies and gents. Yes, I have guys in the program as well that are going to slay their goals. I have a good feeling about this one because it's eight weeks and I just have high ambitions for everybody and I'm going to be on everybody's ass. And if you aren't in the program, still follow along with us. Okay. I hope these videos inspire you. I hope they give you motivation to show up for yourself. I hope they give you ideas as far as food and tracking macros and anything. I'm always trying to help no matter what. So just because if you aren't officially in um, the program of mine, I still want you guys to follow along with us. So I'm so excited for them and that's what I'm working on right now. So I started working on programs yesterday. I have an, a ton a ton to do. I'm not complaining, but we got to get to work is what I'm saying. So tunes going on and I'm going to get in the zone and get these cranked out. Lunch break for the boys. They're doing taco Tuesday nachos. So we have leftover of the red and green tortilla strips, chips from Aldi, some nacho cheese, Greek yogurt. Yes, we are still working on all that fudge I made. I mean, chocolate doesn't go bad, right? We've got some sliced bell pepper for Trey and some fresh blackberries. Waylon is having the exact same thing, except he's picky when it comes to veg. So I gave him some grapes. He's got a yogurt tube and a little piece of fudge for his. Pausing and taking a break to get some movement in. If you get dizzy, fast forward through this, but I just went on a little, little mini, not rant, but I always fuss on you guys. <laughs> I'm always fussing. On. Look, tough love, right? We need the kick in the pants sometimes to get ourselves going. I will be that person. It was that person for me that gave me the kick in the pants that I needed to get me jump started. So I'm here to motivate, inspire, and kick your ass. Okay. That's what we're here for. I am getting my steps in. I'm working on shred plans as you guys know, and I need to get some movement in. So I'm taking a break and I am moving my body. I'm getting my steps in. So I have a lot of people in the past. Oh Lord, <laughs> Christmas crap everywhere. It still looks like, uh, the Grinch stole Christmas threw up in the house. All right. Don't judge me. We're going to get the stuff put up this week, this weekend for show. But I've had a lot of people in the past tell me that they work a desk job. They're glued to their desk. They're glued to a chair and they cannot move and they cannot get their movement in and hit their particular goals. Is weight loss, is muscle gain, is maintenance, is any of it easy? If you've been watching for a hot second, you know I say all of this is not easy. None of this is a cakewalk, okay? Getting your goals done each day might be harder for you than somebody else. But first off, you shouldn't be comparing yourself to anybody else. You versus you. You can do it. Let's get the word can't out of our 2024 toolbox. It should not be there. Go ahead and take that and throw it in the trash can because you can. It just might be harder for you to do it than other people. But again, you're not supposed to be comparing to anybody else. This is you and your journey and you got to show up and put the work in if you want it. So I just wanted to throw that out there that it can be done. You make time for what's important. This is what we got going for lunch. So I had a little bit of that Aldi baguette leftover. We're trying to use all the things still. I know, but it's the second one. I'm filming this. Okay. <laughs> Love that Aldi baguette anyways. So it's, it's a no brainer to use it up. A lot of people had comments on the grocery haul saying like after the next day, it's hard as hell. Y'all have to put it in the oven. So I put it on a sheet pan, 400 degrees for about four minutes. Perfection. And like it lasts forever if you do it that way. I've got two laughing cow cheeses and the aged white cheddar. I love these, but I only can find them at Target. And then we've got six slices of rotisserie seasoned chicken breast from Sam's Club. You see me and the hubs killed that for lunch. And then a pickle slice on there for the macros popping up. I love a good little Sammy. Mm, so good. Taco Tuesday's dinner. We've got the cracked chicken. That is a serving. It's huge. And we have it on these 
old El Paso burrito tortillas. Never tried these before, but each tortilla is just 130 calories. So we're gonna give those a try. Heated them up in the oven. And then I have some shredded lettuce. We have 10 grams of the Aldi reduced fat Mexican style cheese. The bacon, you add one strip of bacon to each serving that you plate up. And then we've got one tablespoon of light ranch and a nibbler corn that's 50 calories for the macros popping up. Still working on mine, delicious. But if, Saint begging for food, if you are wondering uh, if the boys like this, you see Trey's already ate his. He loves the cracked chicken, especially on tacos. And that's his second piece of corn. It's one of his favorite dinners. Waylon, however, why aren't you eating dinner with us? Texas Roadhouse with Papa. Today is Papa's birthday today. So my dad and my youngest sister, she's in town, are coming to get Waylon to go eat. And then in two days, where are we going again? Texas <laughs> He's gonna be living at Texas Roadhouse at this point. Our first attempt at the Butterfinger Blast Creamy. So we shall see. This should be on Instagram. If not, it's coming, but check there because they always go there first before they come here on YouTube as far as the shorts. I know, I'm sorry. But if you're watching the videos, you get a little heads up. We've got two Butterfingers. I wanted to do 20 grams, and that's what you get. Pretty substantial for 93 calories and two grams of protein. So we're gonna put this in the creamy. It's gonna sound like the house is about to be broken down, falling down to the ground. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of Fair Life milk, put it on respin add our mix-ins and then we'll see if it comes out good. This one, you guys, I'm going to test it out. I'll report back, but I took a little bite and I think it might be the best one yet. So that's gonna do it for this Fit Mom vlog, the Butterfinger Blast Creamy Chef's Kiss. I'm gonna try it with a different protein powder and see if I like it best. I like to make sure things are spot on before I share them with y'all. However, I did go ahead and make the Banana Pudding Ninja Creamy for tomorrow night. It is so good. It tastes just like banana pudding. Delish. It's on my Instagram. Everything goes on Instagram first and usually like way far ahead as far as shorts. Uh, recipe short. So make sure you're following me over there to get the recipes real quick. They do come on here, but not much later unless you're watching a vlog like I showed you with the cracked chicken, even though that's been up for a while. But a lot of people don't get notifications for the shorts here on YouTube. Y'all let me know down below if you watch the shorts or get notifications or not. Be curious to know. I know a lot of you guys like to actually watch longer content videos and not the shorts. So leave all that information for me down below because you know, the algorithm stuff that YouTube sends me usually is trash. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it wasn't as much momming uh, with the boys and showcasing them today, but like I said, Waylon got picked up by my dad and my sister, going to have fun with them. So not much to show you with Weiwei. And then as far as Trey goes, he was just living his best life, chillaxing. So I didn't wanna, y'all know he's not a big fan of the camera, even though he's become uh, a little bit more comfortable with it since we've done Vlogmas. So getting him there, baby steps, but just letting him be. He was had a really good day today, just chilling and me getting all the work done with the shred program. So I, it was kind of a boring day, to be honest, as far as just doing work and cleaning and doing the regular things that we do on a regular. So it's not always fun and doing all the things like you saw on Vlogmas. It's not always like that. However, when y'all watch the next Fit Mom vlog, we're gonna be taking Waylon out for his eighth birthday. If you've been with me since the beginning of my YouTube channel, he was like six months old. How is he eight already? It's crazy how fast the time goes. And so many of y'all commented when I talked about this before saying you can't believe he's eight already because you have basically watched him grow up here on the internet. It's it's insane. So we're gonna take you along just like we did for Trey's birthday. We're doing something pretty much identical. And let me tell you guys, that little booger, he's been counting down the days like it's Christmas to his birthday. I mean, to be seven or eight again, right? But if you're enjoying these videos, please give it a huge thumbs up. That helps me out so much. That helps my channel out. Y'all ask all the time how you can like help out, how you can support guys. Just hitting that little thumbs up button does more than you guys ever know. Dropping a comment down below, sharing this with someone that you think might enjoy it, and subscribing, of course, if you are new. Let's get be friends. Let's be a part of the YouTube family. Start off 2024 with a bang. Women supporting women and getting strong. Like strong, fearless is my word for 2024. And just banding together, lifting, motivate, and inspiring each other while we're doing all the regular day-to-day -day things is what it's all about. I love you guys so much. I hope you have an awesome day, an awesome week until we see you for Weiwei's birthday vlog. We'll see you then. Bye, y'all.
and wish I could have been. I never got no regret. The hours I've been putting in, so take a chance on fate.